Good morning, everybody. It is August the 9th, 2016. Time to kick off another trading day. Um, we came out of yesterday's market without a lot of news. Uh, trading range on the E mini. The E mini drifted lower all day long. Held at um, the uh, 2173.75 area. It's up a little bit overnight. Uh, the big news out of Asia was over Chinese inflation. Uh, which is lower than forecast, which allows them to become more uh, supportive um, with economic stimulus for their markets. They don't have to worry about inflation. Uh, the news out of Europe was mixed. Uh, German trade balance down. Great Britain manufacturing production down. Great Britain um, trade balance down. Great Britain industrial production up a tenth. Uh, so not a lot of news to work with overnight. Don't have much news on tap for this morning. We have um, NFIB Small Business Optimism Index at 94.5. Non-farm pro productivity up a half a percent. Unit labor costs up 1.5 percent. That seems high given the softness of the uh, job market. Wholesale trade unchanged. And the IBD tip economic optimism index at 46.2. So the news focus is going to be the direction of the E mini, which is holding its gains, and the three year auction. Used to, you could count on the three year auction um, or two year being good rallying the market you can't do that anymore so I think we're gonna have a trading range today we'll find buyers because of the three-year auction uh, the market won't break so we'll play for support which is at 24 28 to get started holding buy one 25 29 buy two 17 to 21 on the sell side three to seven and then eleven to fifteen if the E-mini breaks, uh, we don't want to be short treasuries. Looking at the ZB, which is a great contract if you all haven't discovered that one. You know, gold um, crude oil and the bond have been regular, reliable producers. Um, the E-mini has just been a very, very tough trade given the lack of volatility. Uh, just buy it and disappear for a couple of days and you'll be happy. And one way to play that is just buy the 2200 options, the calls. And that way you can participate in the rally. Okay, on the 30 year, uh, we're notching a little bit lower. Uh, I had started out with resistance at 28 to the buck. Uh, right now we'll make it 24, 28. So 31, 31, 03, sell 1. 7 to 11, sell 2. On the buy side, we'll have support 12 to 16. So 5 to 9, buy 1. 29 to 01, buy 2. Look for fairly tight range. Gold, pretty quiet overnight, not much going on. Um, got a seller against 45. We had a 43.45 sell last night. Uh, just touched the bottom edge of that. So 42.45 sell one. 48.50 sell two. On the buy side, 35.37. And then 29 to 31, picking up that high volume area. Pretty much where we've been. <clears throat> 
market hasn't moved enough to break uh, our current ranges right now. Boy, it really, I mean, yesterday's action was so slow. <clears throat> May have it again that way today. It's um, tough to trade, and um, you got to extend uh, your holding period on your contracts and uh, be expected to have stops run by the uh, trading community, but not break or not really rally. Things really have to slow down. <clears throat> yeah, Jeff, that's probably an understatement. Okay, the euro we have uh, we we left yesterday wanting to sell tens to twenties. That looks pretty good right now, still. And then forty to fifty if we break through that. On the buy side, I think we have a chance at seventy-five. We'll put it down there. I uh, haven't gotten there yet though. And then ten fifty. I looked at some, I put an article up on what Europe, the EU, will want from uh, Britain uh, for the exit, and it was pretty benign, uh, not much. They, they really wanted to keep the channels open for um, labor, for workers to go back and forth, and for goods to go back and forth. So both sides of that coin desperately need the trade and they need the free exchange as free of exchanging goods as you can get Brussels will be happy because the custom officials will increase they'll increase their power over everything and trade will keep moving you know it's really hard not to get cynical about everything these days the way it's manipulated and the way the politicians couch everything and divisive political rhetoric to keep the focus off of them and to make sure the cash cow that they uh, <coughs> have created for themselves keeps going. <coughs> okay, 43 and a quarter, 43.50, sell one. The low volume number is 43.66. Oh, getting up, stops above 50, that might be the play of the day. And if we get through 43.50, 44, 44 and a quarter. Nobody believes that the economics of supply and demand have changed on crude oil. Um, Venezuela, <coughs> and I forget the other country, I think it may have been Iraq, but don't hold me to that, talking about a uh, potential OPEC meeting in September to discuss production cutbacks. Uh, that coupled with the short squeeze is why we are and the higher you go in a short squeeze the higher you're gonna go until everybody's out 42.50 42 42.75 by one 42 even 42 and a quarter by two be looking for or hoping for a draw on tonight's APIs and tomorrow's EIA reports E-mini, going higher ever so slowly, but I don't see anything in the structure. It doesn't mean you can, can't lose money on longs, but if you just bought a 2200 call and disappeared, you'd probably be a pretty happy camper. So there's pretty good support in this 2170-75 area, and there's definitely resistance above 80 right now. Um, Put this all together, do a split. Volume is above time. Uh, everything is pointed higher. So, didn't work out yesterday very well. But buying into weakness is the trade. So, 70, 72, 
and 74, 76, basically trying to buy 2170s to 75s. On the sell side, sell failure to take out 83, 85. And the slowest things are maybe in <clears throat> 89, 91 for sell two. Uh, the news just not really there today. And NFIB Small Business Optimism Index 94.5. Non-farm productivity up a half a percent. Unit labor cost plus 1.5. Wholesale trade zero unchanged. IBD tip economic optimism index at 46.2. So no news to drive or stir the trading today. Okay, it's going to take a bit to get things up and posted. I'm going to get busy on that. Be back with you as soon as possible.